Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We hope you have your mind on the Lord and ready to just have some good fellowship with Him. And we want you to join in the service with us. We, For many of you, it, this is your church because you no longer can get out and go like you uh, once did, and you miss that. But So I know it's good to go to church when you can, but sometimes your health won't will not allow it. So that's why that we have these services and 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 bring uh, bring uh, the gospel uh, to you because uh, we want you to remember how special that you <coughs> that you are to the Lord. Yeah. And uh, sometimes sometimes we can forget that because we can get so many things uh, so many things on us that we. Uh, we kind of forget how how special th that we are to the Lord, and uh, we know that there's there's sadness and things happening every day in in everybody's life that has joined us. We know that uh, many of you are uh, going uh, going through uh, funerals and so forth. Even today, like Brother Cecil uh, conducted one today. There's a lot of pain in the world, and there's this is common to people, and uh, so we we know this, and we know that the only thing that hasn't changed, and that is that is the Lord, and we have uh, we have one verse here that I want to read for you, and it's uh, well I've lost my uh, okay Hebrews thirteen. Uh, the eighth verse. This is some a uh, good one that we can all remember without stressing ourselves too much, and that is Hebrews eleven thir uh, eleven or thirteen eight. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let me read it again. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now you know our life changes all the time. We have to make adjustments uh, from time to time. We have to kind of like start life all over. Yeah. And uh, But as our world changes. A lot of things are going on in the world and uh, that looks like it's bad for all of us that live here. But you know, everything about us is changing, but we can always go back to Hebrews 13, 8 that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, when our world has fallen apart, uh -huh. He hasn't moved, He hasn't changed. We have, our circumstances have, but He is the same, and that's why that we can have confidence in knowing that we can trust Him with everything that is going on with us. And so, uh, so that's why that we can offer hope to you to recommend Jesus to you because he's the only one that can actually actually help you. And so uh, tonight uh, we have uh, phone operators if you'd like to call if you need to. Sometimes sometimes you need to have somebody pray with you and sometimes you uh, have a praise report. The Lord's done something for you and you want to remember it. Well, uh, the phone operators will be glad to hear from you if you call, and uh, we have uh, we have a prayer request already in. 
uh, Brenda, one of the ladies that comes and help answer phones, she's having eye surgery tomorrow, and we want to remember that. And um, because that's that's coming up tomorrow, uh, serious, uh, well, eye surgery. And uh, so uh, we want to remember those that uh, that are so sick, have had some bad reports today from the doctor. It's pretty devastating sometimes when you get those uh, notices, but it also helps you to think, you know, okay, we change, but the Lord never changes. That's what I want us to try to remember tonight. When our mind is all in a fog, we can, should be able to remember the Lord hasn't changed. He hasn't weakened. He is still uh, what he did before. He'll do now, and he's... He, same yesterday, today, and forever. And um, so we we thank all of you that's been calling and praying for all of us. And and uh, now uh, on in this week, the fourth of April, we'll be doing a memorial for for Don. And you might want to watch at uh, seven o'clock. Uh, and uh, we appreciate all of you that that are standing with us. And we know that. It's uh, a lot of people are there because they've been there before. They know uh, they have lost loved ones. We're not made to stay here forever. We're just here for a short time to do what we can for the Lord, and then He's going to call us home. And uh, you know, a lot of people's worried about the signs of the time and and the, uh, all the things that's happening. But you know. We just need to leave it to the Lord. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. We don't have to worry about you getting sick and dying on us like our loved ones do. You're the same, and you won't ever uh, leave us. And so we thank you for that. And so tonight, Lord, as we go into this service, help the people to just pour their heart out to, to you and to receive the help that they need. Many times... Many times the pain is so great we can't put in words what we're feeling, but you know us, and so you know what we need. And so we just ask for you to bless the people, bless the group, the phone operators, our staff, and everything about the ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we have, we have tonight uh, Glory Land Baptist from Berea, and uh, that phone number... Uh, if you uh, haven't remembered it, it's 859-624-3023. And so let's go right now to Glory Land Baptist. Yes, praise the Lord. Sister Mark, I love that where you was talking. God never changes, but her life's like a roller coaster sometimes. Yes. How many's ever been there? Yes. Or if you got a pray if you got a perfect life, you testify, okay? <laughs> God's good. How many believe she is? Amen. You know, there's a lot of people out there sick. We had a funeral today. Very young lady, but one thing about it, you know, my prayer is we all get in the same direction. If we get in the same direction tonight, someone out there will say, I want to serve this God too. You know, and, I, and, and that's where we're at today. You know, we're looking in, you know, John says, John 4 48 says, uh, Hey, signs and wonders, without them you will not believe. How many believe that? We're going to lift up Dan today. What's his last name? Watson lifted up Dan Watson today. You know, he's in the hospital and he wanted this song sung. We're going to sing it out to him. See the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. This world's been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Oh, Lord, be born. 
Street of Pride Lodge. Woo! It's just a ride of see what God's got in store for us, Amen. we'd all want to be wanting to go, Amen. wouldn't we? Amen. Hallelujah. I can feel that tonight because there's so many people out there hurting, so many people sick, and so many young people, Sister Margaret, leaving this world on kind of too much medication, that this world is, this world is a wilderness. How many is with me? Amen. <laughs> and you know what? I'll tell you what. Though our lives may be rodeos, and run up and down hills. I'm glad that Jesus Christ is the anchor. I'm glad He's there to help us. Yes. Oh, you know, He said, I love what He says in Matthew about 27. He said, hey, talking to Thomas, He said, Thomas, you see me. You put your hands in the places in my body. But what about the ones that's never seen me? They're so blessed if they believe me. How many believe in Him tonight? Yes. How many sure they're... they're I'm going to send Dan and uh, uh, May and them a, a song out. You know, I'm still at Christmas time now. I, I mean Easter. I, I love Easter. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus my Lord suffered for me. Yes, he did. Woo! Think about it. Oh, praise His name, He loves 
Son, whosoever. <laughs> that's, that's casting a long shadow, isn't it? I believe he's casting a shadow right now on the non believers. <laughs> and he wants us to come to him. He's showing us signs and wonders. <laughs> Think about the eighth coming up, rapture's coming, ain't he? How do I know? <laughs> Not even the angels know when he's coming back. But one thing about it, I want to be ready. How many wants to be ready tonight in that right direction? Amen. All right now, if you want to be ready, you feel the presence of an Almighty God that's alive. Say, Lord, forgive me. I feel somebody wanting to do it. Come into my heart. I'm tired of my old life, Lord. I want you to give me a new life. I can feel that new life on the way. And Lord, we're counting on you because we're going we're gonna to stand before you one day. But let us be ready in the right direction. And you know what? Glory to God. I feel that tonight. I feel somebody... I want to come to him. Somebody's lost their joy of worshiping. I'll tell you what, you ain't going to get my joy of worshiping. Not even with a guitar, not even with nothing. I'm going to stand on that rock of Jesus because one day I'm going to meet him. It ain't going to be long. It's like a vapor, Solomon said. But, oh, but he said, I may be in trouble here and going through the waves. Oh, but there's one right there. Glory to God, I'm going to bring some acceptable words. Listen to me, folks. No matter what you're going through, I, I believe I like to rebuke cancer tonight, sugar diabetes, and all this stuff in the name of Jesus. I, I believe that name is higher than any other name. Hey. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have a victory. Woo! Get that victory, guys! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Who can tell what God can do? Who can tell of His love for you? In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, victory is mine. Oh, victory is mine.
in the swing. By and by, think about it. We shall meet on that beautiful shore in the swing. By and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We don't want to forget about Carl tonight. He's out there. He likes to hear us. And, you know, we like to hear from him. You know, if you've got something to give to the minister tonight, give it. Because, folks, this is a place that goes all over the world. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Amen. And thank, thank you, Bobby, for giving. And many other people that's given to the ministry. But one thing about it, you can't outgive a God like we're serving. Amen. No matter what shape you're in, no matter how bad you think you are, we're praying for you tonight. Got blood pressure stuff going on. A lot of people is sick. And, and hey, hey, <laughs> like you said, we, we may be in a water that's boiling room, in a ship. How many's ever been uh, tormented out there uh, rolling? But he's, you know, let's, w- <laughs> let's wake him up, they said, and you let him calm the storm. I've got a God tonight that can calm your no matter what it is. What, what's happening is this world getting to people's minds uh, through Fox, uh, CNN, and all this stuff. Honey, I want to know what Jesus is doing. Amen. I want to open up the Word of God uh, and say, Lord, uh, You show us the way. And honey, let me tell you something. He'll put us in the right direction. You know, this world, the United States, God bless America, needs to be in the right direction. Amen. How many is with me tonight? How many feels that? I, Doug, we're lifting you up tonight. He's been going through a roller coaster ride, but we got the same God. Yesterday, Denver, he he wants to hear this song. That's me again, Lord. I got a prayer that needs an answer. I mean, he's got a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem I can't solve. Well, I don't need to worry you. But here I am facing something new. Shout it. 
Jesus will not fail me. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Well, I shall not. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved just like a tree. I often 
and slip my holy flesh and bone. Oh, come on, girl. But I'll prove one day just what I say. I love a special oh, kind. Oh, special. When come on. he was on that cross, I was on his mind. For he knew. God's so good. I believe, you know, I believe everybody's going to be happy over it. Amen. We're all. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Heaven. In childhood I heard of a hell. Somebody want to hear this song. I wondered if it could be true that there were sweet mansions eternal somewhere up there beyond the blue. I wondered if people really hey, go, go there. Come on. Then one day sweet Jesus came in. Worlds of attractions don't thrill me. My soul has a change of relief. Heaven, heaven. Oh, it makes me feel like traveling. Here we go again. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to a place one day where there'll be no more tears, there'll be no more heartache, there'll be no more pain. How many go go there with me? Amen. I'm not going to that place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. I'm going, to, I'm going to get in that right direction tonight because He's alive and He's here. Well, God's not dead. He's still alive, my God. Oh, 
He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Call him Lord, God. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Who is it? He is Lord. They were all in full accord when the Holy Ghost descended as promised by our Lord. Oh Lord, send the power just now. Oh Lord, send the power just now. Oh Lord, send the power just now, oh, Lord, the power just now and baptize everyone. Yes, the power descended from heaven as the sound of the rushing wind. Tons of fire came down oh, upon I feel them, fire. as the Lord said he would sing. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now and baptize everyone. Yes, the soul time power was given oh, like to our fathers who were true. It was promised to believers and we all may have it too. Every one of us. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now and baptize everyone. Woo, hallelujah. How would you like to be baptized with that? Huh? Amen. So woo, hallelujah. Lord brought you back, didn't you? Praise God, hallelujah. Raise the dead. Hallelujah. God's good. How many believes God is good? Amen. 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 Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Woo! What you say? I once was lost, but now I am found. Praise God. Praise God.
Praise the Lord. Somebody, somebody asked me, somebody asked me one day, said, how does she keep, keep up with you on that piano? Honey, it ain't nothing but the Holy Spirit moving. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I love that spirit tonight because, hey, that's what it's all about. Amen. I need some fire. This day and time, in the way the, this jungle world is, we need some fire, and we need to be able to see that fire far off. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, sis. I quit. All right, Gloryland Baptist Church from uh, Berea, Kentucky. The phone number is 859-624-3023 if you'd like to get in touch with them and find out more about them. All right, uh, we've had a lot of storms in this area and a lot of people's out of electricity tonight and so forth. And so uh, I'm sure that's why we haven't heard from more tonight. But Charlene and Glenn Butler, uh, is sending in $50 a gift to the ministry in honor of the Gloryland Baptist Church. Ernie from Bell County, he uh, needs prayer. He's had three strokes, but he's enjoying the music tonight. William from Bretha County enjoying uh, Cecil very much, and his son is going to church with him tomorrow, and he needs prayer. Bill from Floyd County for Priscilla that's in the hospital in Floyd County and loves uh, Cecil. Gail uh, from Montgomery County for uh, uh, Josie, a little one-month-old baby that needs help from the Lord. Phyllis is um, also for a grandchild in Madison County. Phyllis from Laurel County uh, is in rehab and is on a walker. Naoma from Jackson County for Edgar. A prayer for both of them. Emery from Jackson County for his eyes. Barb from... Uh, Pulaski uh, for Michelle that's very sick, Donna from Franklin County, Clifford uh, wanted to hear I'll Fly Away, uh, Kathy from Russell Springs uh, has hurt her arm, and uh, Brenda, one of our phone operators, is having uh, cataract surgery yes. tomorrow, and she needs prayer. Uh, Marcella, a daughter, is having a test done, James from Lawrence Berg for internal issues. Um, Pauline from Lincoln County, back and leg problems. Tony from, uh, uh, thank you, uh, from Powell County has been, spent the weekend in the hospital, but he's home and he needs prayer. And we have Hurley and Joanne. Um, Clifford has called for prayer for them. Uh, and Clifford's in the nursing home. He loves, yes, Ce Lord. He loves Cecil, Cecil <laughs> and enjoys watching him. Uh, Eva from Oregon County for herself. Jasmine from Estill. Uh, Silas from McGolfin. He's in a nursing home and he loves all of us and he needs prayer for his family. A mother is called for Katrina from Whitley County. Judy from Pulaski County. Hattie uh, is called for Earl from Montgomery. Uh, Terry from Menifee for his family, Veda from uh, Laurel County for her family, Anonymous Call, um, Nora from Floyd for herself, Patricia from Pike County for Edward. Uh, she loves all of us and would like to, uh, something about, uh, she'd like to see some t-shirts with WLJC on it. Well, we haven't had that kind of money to print a t-shirt. <laughs> We've been paying light bills and stuff like yes. that, so we we have to do first things first. Joyce from Lester County for is for Michael Barnes. He's still in the hospital. Bless him, Jer Lord. Jeremy from Lexington uh, was prayer for the Western Kentucky that's had such a bad storm today. A lot yes. of Kentucky has been hit hard today. Mm -hmm. Louise from Hurley, Virginia, for uh, herself and and Jerry. Uh, physical needs and her blood counts down. Thomas uh, for his family and friends. All right. <clears throat> thank God, Sister Margaret, for the new workers here. And yes. ask God, to, and I believe He will. It's a privilege and an honor to mention that name of Jesus mm -hmm. over the airways where everybody can hear it. And, you know, we won't get nothing on there like people that's listening. You know, that seed's going out everywhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thank God for the people that's listening, supporting this station, because it's still going, Sister Marty. Mm -hmm. We may be in some rough water, but, mm -hmm. but God's still the same, ain't He? Yes, and, yes. you know, people might not understand that. We've got to work our own salvation out with mm -hmm. fear and trembling. What is that? The safety and, and the peace we got. I know Tony's been in the jails a lot. Go ahead, Tony. 
Well, um, we, uh, I want to talk uh, about Celebrate Recovery a little bit. One of the things that came to my mind is, you know, I, I want to talk about uh, step three is turning your life and will over to Christ's care and control. And, um, you know, I used Uncle Cease as an example. He got saved and, and, uh, and surrendered to preach and, and stopped drinking all the same day about 40 years ago. Same hour. Uh, uh, in January of 40 years ago. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, you know, I, I've been saying that you don't have to, uh, to preach, but really we're all called to be ministers. Yes, Lord. That's we right. all are to be Amen. ministers. That's right. And so that's you've, you've got to sit, li we all are to live that surrendered life, uh, turning where our lives and our wills are totally uh, turned over to the care and control of Christ. And uh, Cecil's a, a, a great example of that. You know, he even preaches to his horses and his goats and his dog, and they've all got saved. Squirrels. So. <laughs> the squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> everywhere he goes, he preaches. So, you know, uh, we, that's the way we need to be is, you know, everywhere we go, we see a uh, homeless person. Don't, don't throw money at them. Take them uh, into the restaurant and, and, and give them something to eat, sit down with them, and, and make sure they know Jesus uh, before you let go of them. Now, they ain't been wanting to hold you in there, have you, and put you in jail? Well, I'm... I'm I'm in there so much. I'm in uh, I'm in Blackburn on Mondays uh, for two hours, and then uh, a Tuesday I'm in uh, 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 Bull County Detention Center for about four, uh, three hours, and then Friday I'm in Bull County Detention Center for about six hours. So, they, yeah, they they kind of don't they kind of like me in there. I guess I don't know. You, Kathy, you and Leroy, we're lifting you up tonight and many others yes, that help sir. us. Uh, we know that God is still alive. And put your hands this way and help me pray as I pray over these. Uh, and I know God is here because He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Fathers, we come humbly before you. We reach out. We thank you for Sister Margaret. She's back, Lord. You've brought her back. Uh, she's working her own out because you're the one that will be there for us all. And we depend upon you. We count on you. We thank you for the people, Lord, that's called in. Uh, we their names is right here. She read them off. And I feel your power and the love going through that our way. I know there's people, Lord, I want to get their joy back and their hope of living as Peter did. Oh, but we just want to hang on to you, Lord. We just want to, no matter what happens in our life, let us just hang on to the hem of your garment and you'll see us through. Bless our country, Lord. God bless it. Oh, and get prayer back in the schools and in our workplaces. I love you, Lord, and trust in you. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Tony, do you, want, do you want to give a phone number right quick? Sure. Um, if, if anybody uh, needs help, they're struggling with uh, uh, life's hurts, habits, or hang-ups, uh, you can call 859-661-2134. Again, that's 859-661-2134, and we'll, we'll help you out. One of the things I've learned is people kind of want to uh, take the easy way out. You know, if, uh, if, if you think that you can do it on the outside on your own, you probably can't. And so no. I, I'd like to help you find a rehab if you, yes. if you, if you need a, to get in, into a rehab. I have uh, uh, several that I recommend uh, uh, that, uh, that I'd love to give you the information on. Uh, I do that as well. Matter of fact, I've got a couple of people you gave me the information on, right. and, mm -hmm. and it's confirmation that that's real. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right, well, you know, we've got to help anyone that will yeah. uh, receive help. You know, that, uh, uh, you know, if people reject us, then we take that personally. Right. Yeah. Can you imagine how the Lord must feel yes. when He daily people mm -hmm. rejects Him and turns... They're, uh, they're not rejecting us, they're rejecting yeah. Jesus, yeah. Mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yes, and so, sort of, sort of got to get thick skin, uh, Sister Margaret, in this day and time, because we're going to be insulted. We're going right. to be, we're going to be talked about. But you know what? That's okay. But Jesus was. He said he's persecuted, so we're going to be persecuted. But just hang on to him. Hang on to Jesus. Uh, get in that right direction. Amen. If they rejected yes. him, they rejected us. That's what, That's what his Lord said. That's what he said. Well, it's all going to be over before long for all of us, and so we, uh, we have to. Uh, do what we can. Share, Amen. Share the good news with everyone and just remind them it doesn't matter if this world comes to a screeching halt today, uh, tonight. If we're right with the Lord, we'll be going to a better place and it won't matter. Amen. Amen. And so that's what we, we want to hear from all of you that you've made peace with God. Our time is gone, so from all of us, we want to say good night. And God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.